Forever chemicals are known to last thousands of years in the atmosphere. And for some of us, they're sitting right in our backyard. Digging deeper, quite literally. Storm Team 2 meteorologist Cameron Saliga talked with workers on a project designed to prevent those chemicals from contaminating our water supply. Wright Patterson Air Force Base is beginning to fight off an invisible enemy, Forever Chemicals. Per and polyfluoroalkyl substances, or PFAS, are a group of synthetic fluorinated chemicals, which can be harmful to humans. The project targets a hazardous material storage facility on base which accidentally released a firefighting foam twice that contained PFAS in 2008 and 2011. One of the uh, characteristics of that type of foam, uh, it's a coating type foam that easily spreads, and that's what happens. Uh, it gets into uh, the water and it disperses easily. Base engineers built a 420 foot long, 30 foot deep trench. It reaches all the way down to bedrock, and because of the makeup of the bedrock, will use gravity to direct the water to a collection site instead of a pump and treat system. The extraction wells like a, a normal pump and treat facility uh, wouldn't work here. And uh, this would be a passive system that just slowly collects the groundwater over time. And uh, once it's collected in that sump at the, the far end of the trench, it'll be pumped down to the treatment facility. But where does the groundwater go after being treated? This isn't a real aquifer uh, zone up here because of the tills but uh, ultimately the water will be discharged to the, uh, the base stormwater system, and that will go down to an outfall that is a tributary to the Mad River. The project took just over a year to complete. Base officials also plan on installing the treatment system in March. At Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, meteorologist Cameron Saliga, 5 on 2.